Did you know that there is a huge difference between the focus on the client and the focus of the client? Let's think about it. What is the most important thing? Is it just to look at your client? Or is it to understand what are the concerns of your client? Do you want just to look and understand your client? Or do you want to look at what is your client looking for? Well, this is the big difference. We need to understand the focus of the client and not just focusing on the client. Hello. It is a wonderful pleasure to welcome you again in order to talk about one more very important criteria for the excellence of management of your vocational school. Let's talk about stakeholders and society. Well, first, it is very important to understand that my vocational school is bounded, is linked to all society in a various number of ways. I have plenty of stakeholders. Of course, there is my student, but there is also the family of my students, the companies, the industries, the government, the NGOs, other schools, other universities. This is a complex system and I need to be able to map and understand what is my value added on a system perspective, understanding all the stakeholders. A second important point here. Of course, I have to create value directly for my client in terms of knowledge, skills, professional capabilities. But I also need to remember what's my importance as a professional school in terms of environment and in terms of social development. I need to have a triple bottom line understanding of value creation. Of course, on an economic perspective, creating jobs, but also on a social and an environmental perspective. So let's talk about the most important stakeholder of society for my school. This is my client. My client is the most important person for my school. My client never interrupts my work, is the reason for my work. My client is not just about making numbers and paying and fulfilling results. I have to understand and treat my client with respect. Now it is very important to see what is the value that I had with my trainings, my product, my services, to my client and understand what is the focus of my client. So let's use a BCG metrics in order to understand two important dimensions of my products, services, my trainings, my courses. First, what is the level of need of attraction of my product for the market? Is this training really required? Do my clients really need this training? What is the level of absorption of this product in the market? This is the first dimension. Now the second dimension. What is the contribution of my product in terms of the financial sustainability of my vocational school? I have to look at my portfolio in this metrics, looking at the most important products and services that I have to leverage or that I have to create. These are the courses, training, products, services that have a high demand and do create a lot of value for my school in terms of financial sustainability and in terms of the business that my school also is. Now, one final point. It is very important, of course, to create financial value, sustainability and revenues for my school. 
but I always need to remember the social and environmental perspective of all my products. So remember that creating value on an overall stakeholder perspective means, of course, having a good attraction in terms of business, in terms of demand, but also respecting and understanding society and the environment. Our products need to be sustainable. So let's sum up. The complexity is huge. I have plenty of stakeholders, but I have to define and understand clearly who is my client. And I need to create value for my client. In order to do so, I have to analyze the portfolio of my products, services, my trainings, my course, in terms of the demand and in terms of the value that I generate for my school on an financial perspective and also for society in terms of environment and in terms of respect. Now I would like to propose to you a little challenge. Let's think about who is your client. Is the student your client? Or maybe is the company where your student is going to work your real client? And once you have decided who is your real client, your student or the company, try to change the focus. Do not focus on the client, but focus on the need of your client to understand what is the concerns of your real client. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope to see you very soon.